Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Yankee, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to draw Madara Achiha in chibi form. I'm going to take you through a couple of steps in today's video. The first phase is your initial outline, all the outlining done on the outside, right? Exterior outlines. The second phase is your internal outlining, all the outlining done on the interior. Your third phase is to work from body part to body part, right? Body part to body parts. I choose personally hair, face, torso, legs, and then feet. So I draw the hair first, then the face, then the torso, then the legs, then the feet. And your final step is to do the hard shade outline and the shading on the inside. That is also done in phases by body parts. So I hope you enjoy the video today. Look, isn't it cute? <laughs> Now, the reason that you want to do this, you want to start by drawing out these outlines is because proportionality is very important when you're drawing. When you're trying to keep, when you're trying to keep relevance and make the reference image look presentable, proportionality is very, very, very important. Because I can look at this right now, and as I look at it, the proportionality for what I've drawn so far is not up to scale with the reference image. And remember, this is only the initial outline. You don't have to worry too much about how it looks. And when you're drawing any art piece, I think that the most important thing that a lot of people forget, especially beginner artists, is um, is congruent, being congruent with what you're drawing. And you know, it's not necessarily easy to do this, especially as a beginner artist. It took me a very long time to learn how to draw in steps. I was very, very, very much interested in just jumping into my art piece and not considering the effects that not drawing how a professional would actually have on my ability to create something I was proud of. All right, this is what we have so far for the initial outline for a Madara, a Madara sketch. And what you can see, it doesn't look exactly to spec with what is shown on the computer. But this is where the second thing comes in. This is where the second step of drawing comes in. We have to be aware of how we do this now. So, the first step is the in, is the external outlines. External outlines. We've done the external outlines. Now we have to do the internal outlines. The reason why I draw lightly at the beginning is because erasing is always a pain and you want to be careful with how much you have to erase because erasing is something that stops a lot of beginner artists from ever finding prowess in their drawings because they believe that erasing means I'm not good. I think a lot of beginner artists have this tendency to believe that erasing means I'm not good, but that's a misconception because lots of professionals erase more than, er, professionals erase more than beginners. So I think that to change the way we think about this is important. Like, like what I always say, what I like to say about drawing is that you can use references, but don't forget to let your imagination fill the gaps. And I think that that's an important thing to have, an important foresight to have whenever you're creating something with your hands, is to use references, but not to forget that your imagination is what fills the gaps between, between what you're doing. So now that we've done this, now we're going to start working on the body parts. So the first body part we're going to choose, three, and we're going to make a list. Three. First start with hair. Hair. So we're going to work our way down up. And this is where a lot of erasing is done. A lot of erasing is done in step three because you want to make sure that you do the proportionality for the hair right. goal is to really make sure that proportionality, his chin isn't lopsided because that will throw off the rest of the image. And usually speaking, when people are done with the head, they don't notice that there's something wrong until after they're done with the whole art piece. And it looks very, it's different from the reference image, so we have to use our own creation. 
We have to use our imagination here to create the image from the head. The smile is also different. Because the smile is upwards, in the reference image, the smile is downward, and that's why the chin is downwards. Mm -hmm. Because every little bit, every stroke you make, and I know this sounds very, like, this sounds very intense, but every stroke you draw really does have an impact on the final picture. And the final picture should make you proud. Like, I want to be proud. I want to be proud of what I drew when I'm finished with this. I do. I really want to be proud when I'm finished with this drawing. Dude, there's a spider. Look. Look. A spider found his way into my house. Look, it's a spider. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, though. You see it? Is it possible to see this spider? Yeah, look, it's on camera. Hey, guy. Hey, buddy. Look, it's a spider. Look, it's a spider. Dude, where did he come from? I want to put him outside, so I'm gonna to have to get like a piece of paper and go walk in, go walk him downside outside, so I don't hurt him. The chibi is a big picture. I have mad respect for people that draw chibis now. I have mad respect for people that draw chibis right now. Mad respect for people that draw chibis. Do you think that a chibi is easy? Nah. You think a chibi, just because it's simple, it's easy? Nah, buddy. Yeah, if you have 1,700 channel points, you can request for me to draw something, and I'll draw for you. And we've been drawing this whole thing on... I, I draw in steps, so I'm trying, to I'm trying to teach beginner artists how to be proud of what they draw. Because I'm still a beginner artist, but I'm proud of the things I draw because I put a lot of time and energy into drawing it. And I'm trying to teach people how to do this. Like, the first step, and I wrote it down over here. I'm going to do this from now on, whenever I'm drawing, to explain how it works. First step is initial outline. Then the second step is internal outlines. And the third step is pick body parts and draw things from body parts. And then the fourth step is to shade everything properly. We finally entered step four, which is the shading and shading in lines. So this is what it looks like so far. Keep this mental image in your head. It's gonna look very different when we're finished with it. Look at it. Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's Madara. I like it. I hope Peanut's going to be really proud. I hope Peanut's going to be happy. I worked really hard for this on her. I don't I, know. I worked hard on this for her. I hope she's happy when she comes. Look. Yo, I like it.